Hi, I'm uh, making this video on a very rainy and windy day during COVID lockdown. Um, and the reason for this video is because um, I know a lot of people have been telling me that they're sort of struggling with painful backs and particularly lower back and hips at the moment, which, um, you know, isn't unusual given that we're all probably being a little bit more sedentary than we normally are. Um, so I thought I'd film this short sequence of movements that's all um, lying down on the back. So it's a really easy thing that you can do. I like to do it probably uh, first thing in the morning because it's, it's very easy to just kind of roll out of bed and then get onto the ground and do these little movements to help everything just feel a little bit more easeful uh, and comfortable. So I hope you enjoy them. Um, so yeah, you don't really need a mat to practice these movements. So I'm just gonna come down onto the ground here on the carpet. If you are practicing on um, a wooden floor or tiles or something that's just quite hard, you might wanna put down a blanket um, to lie on just to make everything a bit more comfortable. Okay. So come all the way down onto your back, just check if you can see. And make sure you've got your knees bent, the soles of the feet on the floor, and the feet are about hip distance apart, maybe wider, maybe narrower, just, you know, depending on what feels comfortable to you. So find that comfortable place and then just let your arms and your hands relax by your sides. And start off by noticing the points of contact between your body and the floor. So obviously noticing the soles of your feet making contact with the ground. And then also the back of the pelvis, the lower back, the lumbar spine, which you may feel a little bit of connection to the ground, but you'll also probably notice a curve there where part of your back doesn't touch the ground. And just noticing that and then moving up into the middle part of the back. And then towards the upper back, the thoracic spine. Again, the gap where the neck, the cervical spine lifts away from the ground. And then the connection of the back of the head. And just notice how comfortable you feel recognizing any areas of obvious tension or gripping just see if you can bring a softness. And then start off by just taking your head from side to side on the ground. So rolling the back of your head. You can have your eyes closed and you can have them open, but imagining you're taking your gaze from the left to the right. So we're just sort of beginning with a bit of a massage into the back of the skull and down into the back of the neck and the tops of the shoulders you might be able to feel here too. Deciding if you want to start to take the head a little bit further over each time, making the movements larger or keeping it small and contained. Okay, and then bring your head back into the center and we'll lift the right knee in towards our chest and bring your right hand on the outside of your right knee. And then we're gonna to begin to draw that knee around in a circle. So imagine that you were drawing a circle around your right hip with the knee. And go slowly here to begin with so that you can really feel into the journey that the hip's making within the hip socket, how easeful it feels, any areas of restriction or tightness, 
stickiness, changing direction now. Maybe also noticing any clicks or clunks. And just seeing if you can negotiate through those with the breath, with the smoothness of the movement, unless they bring pain, and in which case, if they bring pain, then taking a different action and moving in a way that can accommodate and not push through the pain. Take your hand away from the knee now, reversing the direction again, and feel free to make these circles a little bit wider now with the right knee. Just exploring the range of motion, seeing how far you want to go. And as you change direction again, there's the option to extend the leg slightly towards the sky as well. And then we're taking big circles with the whole of the right leg. You can bend the knee as much as you need to. Changing direction. Noticing where you feel a massage here across the lower back, maybe up into the middle back, tops of the sit bones. Giving yourself a little personal massage by using the floor as your massage partner. Pause now with the right leg extended and then we're going to take these circles into the foot and the toes. So just trying to navigate space with your toes, taking your foot in as big a circle as you can manage. Change direction. And it might feel a little bit awkward um, because we're just not used to articulating so much through the ankle, uh, especially when we wear shoes a lot of the time or heavy boots. The, the connection of the ankle into the foot can become quite numb to us sometimes. So exploring that, taking another change of direction. And then pausing, give your leg and your foot a little bit of a shake. And then bring your right foot, right ankle onto your left thigh. The ankle is actually just off my thigh so that it's not digging into my left leg. And the, the, the foot is just underneath um, my left knee. Let the right hip and the right knee drop to the side as much as possible. And then just start to rock on the lower back. Taking this shape with the legs, this figure four shape, from one side and then the other. Stay here if that feels like enough for you, just exploring the rocking and maybe taking it a bit wider. Otherwise you can lift the left foot away from the ground, make sure both feet are quite flexed, nice and alive, and then begin to take some circles with the legs. circling around on the back of the pelvis and again noticing any kind of quality of massage that you're getting across the back of the pelvis, changing direction and of course feeling into the legs and noticing how this movement feels in the right hip socket. Take a pause and if you want to, you could reach your arms through that gap in your legs and take the back of the left thigh in your hands just for a gentle, gentle squeeze in towards you and then release. Bring the left foot back to the ground. Keep your right knee bent to your chest but extend your left leg now long on the ground. And then we're going to take ourselves towards a twist, but we're going to go really slow. So start off by rocking the right knee from side to side. And you can hold on to the right knee with the right hand again to help you find this rocking out to the right and then towards the left, but not going too far just yet. And 
Notice if this movement starts to bring a pain at all into the inner thigh on the right side. And if so, just being mindful of that and not taking the knee too far over to the left. Keep a hold with your right hand and just go slow. If you feel good, then you can let go of the knee with the right hand and start to take the right knee a little bit further over each time, letting the right hip come away from the ground. So the pelvis is rolling with you to help you find the movement of the right knee towards the left. And we're just flirting with this idea of going into our twist rather than pushing our bodies there immediately. Keep taking the knee a little bit further over each time. Maybe you find a moment where the body says yes, the toes of the right foot touch down to the ground, maybe the whole shin or the knee does. Maybe you want to put the right foot onto the back of the left leg. Just find a place where you could pause for a moment, take your gaze over towards the right, and take some long breaths in that twisted shape. And then rolling slowly back over onto your back. Take your right foot to the ground, bring your left foot back onto the ground with the knees bent. And just take a moment here with your eyes closed to feel into how your spine is meeting the ground now. And particularly maybe any differences that you can feel between the right and left sides of the back pelvis, shoulder. And then we'll take that whole little sequence on the other side now. So bringing your left knee in towards your chest, left hand on the knee, and then start off with those little circles with the left knee. Beginning slowly, this side might feel different from the last side, so the last side, the right side. So just notice any of those differences, any of those subtle sensations that you pass through in your left hip flexor. Reverse the circling. Noticing that sense of a circular massage on the back of the left. When you're ready to change direction next time, release the knee and maybe you're extending your leg up towards the ceiling now. Keeping the knee bent as it needs to be. And just notice if you can now access any different, more places in your back with that massaging quality. Change the direction of the circle. Keeping the right foot nice and calm and quiet on the ground, just resting there, a bit of support. Change direction one last time. Maybe your leg is making really wide circles now. Maybe they're still nice and intimate and contained. Pause with the left leg extended slightly and we're gonna take those circles with the ankle and foot finding the rotation through the left ankle, waking up the connections into the foot and the toes. Change direction when you're ready. Again, noticing how easy or awkward this feels and it doesn't matter if it feels awkward, you know, it's just a matter of practice and becoming more aware, more kind of finely tuned with the connection into our feet. But it's useful to notice these connections because they're what help us keep balanced as we walk and as we go about our day. Okay, pause that circling with the foot, give it a little shake, and then we're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh. 
just beneath where your where the knee is in that figure four shape slight flex in the left foot with the toes facing towards the knee and then finding the rocking of the pelvis from side to side letting the right knee just relax and drop out to the side as much as it can If this feels comfortable and you're ready to take it a bit further, then you can lift the right leg, lift the foot off the ground and find the circling of the legs in the air. Noticing how it feels now on the outside of the left thigh, hip, glute muscles, all of those areas will really enjoy this movement. Taking the opposite direction with the circles now. Just check in to see if your face, your head and your neck are still relaxed. You haven't clenched your jaw or started frowning. All things that I know can happen to me. So just let everything up there relax. doesn't need to hold on change directions again. If you want to, then holding, taking the, uh, the grip behind the right thigh with your hands, finding a little gentle squeeze in of the right thigh towards you. I'm not going too far or forcing anything there. And then place the right foot back down on the ground, let your arms relax beside you. Extend your right leg away, long on the ground, and then take hold of the left knee with the left hand again and start to find that rocking side to side now. Taking the left leg out to the left side and then bringing it towards the center of the pelvis and just tuning into how that feels, making sure there's no intense discomfort or pain, which would mean it, it wouldn't be a good idea to take the left knee over the top of the right side. If you feel okay here, then maybe letting go of the left knee and starting to take the pelvis with you as you bring the left leg over a little bit more each time towards the right side of the floor. Just rocking, flirting with the idea of that twist. Building up a bit of momentum so that maybe you can sense the moment where the body feels like it's ready to commit. Touching down with the top, with the tips of the left toes or bringing the left toes onto your right leg. Just finding that comfortable place. Maybe extending the left arm out long if you've got the space or bending the elbow in a cactus shape. If not, gazing towards the left. You can bring your right hand onto the top of the right knee if that helps you find a little bit of weight into the top of the, uh, the left leg. But you don't want to push down into that knee. It's just a kind of guide to help it relax a little bit more. Relax your belly, relax your face. Deepening the breath here. And then in your own time, slowly rolling, coming out of that, bringing both feet onto the ground again with the knees lifted. And again, taking a moment to tune into the sensations down the length of the back and notice anything that feels different now from when you first began moving your body. How do the legs, the thighs and the pelvis feel? Is there any extra quality of softening and heaviness? can bring to the pelvis. How is 
the length of your spine, your lower, middle and upper back, receiving gravity. How do the shoulders, neck and head feel? And can you get a sense of the back of the skull relaxing and widening slightly on the ground? Let's take one last movement before we complete this sequence. Bringing your arms up over your head arms parallel with the hands over the shoulders and then just imagining that there was a rope coming down from the ceiling that you're going to start to climb and you lift one arm up reaching towards that rope and then pull it down and then start to reach with the other hand lifting the shoulder up and then pulling down and then just keep this movement going rocking and rolling through the shoulders let the back of your head stay relaxed to the floor. And noticing if you are able to bring that sense of an internal massage now into the area between your shoulder blades. When you're ready, bring both arms over your head onto the ground behind you and then deciding which way you want to roll so that you can roll over onto one side of your body with the head resting on an arm. The other hand is flat to the ground. And just take a moment here in a fetal position before you begin to lift up again. And as you rest there, taking some deeper breaths. Bringing awareness to how everything feels. And these are a few lines from Rumi whispers of the beloved. It's good to leave each day behind like flowing water free from sadness. Yesterday is gone and its tale told. Today new seeds are growing. Take a deep breath there and then let it go. When you're ready to move, make sure you are aware of the weight of your head and your neck as you press yourself all the way back up into a seated position. Really hope that you enjoyed those movements and they've helped you find a little bit more ease and take that ease with you into the rest of your day, whatever it holds. Thank you so much. <laughs>